This is Twit. I'm not sure. I spent a lot of money on the Heston Q system, and I blame Alex Lindsay for that. It is a smart cooking system. This is one problem I have. I don't want to use my iPad in portrait mode. And this is an iPad app, but for some reason, it's in portrait mode. Let me show you. It's not just an app, kids. It's an entire cookware system. Let me bring in the Heston Q. Ugh. So I bought the full Heston Q system. You always have to get this. This is an induction burner. Do you know about induction cooking? Cooking? No. It's kind of a cool cooking method. Induction cooking uses magnets in the surface. You have to have a pot that is made out of uh, a magnetic material like iron. This has a core of iron. This is a special Heston Q pot. And with the Heston Q pots, they also have Bluetooth. There's actually a little brain in here with a battery. It has Bluetooth, so you can't, it's not dishwasher safe, so you want to hand wash this. It comes with a standard uh, fry pan and also what they call a chef's pot with a lid, so if you're making something larger. And eventually, I guess they'll do even more uh, kinds of cookware. And you can even get a Heston Q cooktop. They make a full-size cooktop to replace your standard gas or electric cooktop. A lot of people love induction cooking. It's a little safer. This surface gets hot because the pot's hot, but it's in. I, I could turn it on and turn it up, and it won't get hot by itself. It's not heating up the pot by getting hot. It's heating up the pot by induction. So you could lay your hand on there? You could, but remember, the pot will get hot, and if you've had the pot on there, it'll be hot afterwards. Ah, right, right. So, so don't think it's going to be cool, but, but I can have it be cooking right now, and it, it's not, it's not going to get hot. Uh, and then, of course, it ties in... This is the wild thing. It ties in to the recipes in the app. So, I don't know. Let's make a quick and easy broccolini with chorizo and almonds. Now, what's fun about the app, and it shows you which pans it uses and all that. What's fun about the app is it, it uh, has a lot of videos that show you how to cook. So, I mean, <laughs> this is always one of the fun parts. It's not very often that you get a, a, a frying pan that has to be updated. Uh, <laughs> so they give you videos on how you're going to do the preparation. You just like press that. the next step button all the way through, chop the almonds, chop the broccolini, thinly slice the shallot, thinly slice the garlic. Cut. Now place the Heston cookware on the burner as I have. And let me see if I can get this. Yeah, you can see, you can see here. Watch, watch. This is the, uh, you can do this. Whoops. You can do this manually. It, it will, you know, you can use, I wouldn't recommend using these pans on a regular stove, but you can use this induction top manually. See, it has on off buttons, but, but really the real intent is that you use it on the burner. So I'm going to push the buttons to let it know that I have a, oh, is it plugged in? Did I unplug it? John, could you check the uh, power? I'm not, is John gone? Oh, well. Push the power button on your burner, push the next button on your burner, and in theory, it's going to be cooking, but I guess it's not plugged in. So if it were, lights would light up, things would happen, and this actually controls the software. Unplug this. The software controls the temperature of the burner. To It goes all the way down to 200 degrees, up to, you know, 350 or 400. And so what will happen is kind of automatically the burner will get turned up, turned down, simmer, boil, whatever it is it needs to do to make the recipe. Honestly, it's not that hard to cook <laughs> with a frying pan. <laughs> Honestly, you probably know when you turn the yeah. gas up, it gets hotter, turn it down. You may not know the exact temperature. Uh, I like the recipes in here. I think the videos really are great. Um, but this is an expensive system. I think it's a total of seven or $800 if you... Get it all. My air fryer was only $50. <laughs> yeah. As I said, I'm not going to judge your air fryer. Um, so have you cooked with it? Yeah, we cooked, we've cooked. we cooked several times with it. We cooked last night. I cooked uh, my, my marinara sauce uh, in this pot uh, because it has a, a lid and it's a little bit more capacity. And uh, what's nice is even if you're doing it manually, and you can do it manually, uh, you can set the uh, temperature directly. Let me, let me get out of this. So I knew that I wanted to, with the sauce, I wanted to get it boiling, you know, and then turn it way down low. And you can do that, which is kind of which is kind of cool. You have a manual control as well. Here, let's go into the control mode, and I'm going to use my pot. Um, 
let me ask you a question to see if it solves one of my cooking problems. Garlic. Sautéing garlic. Yeah, because like, it'll burn, right? Yeah, could I just throw garlic on there and then go play Pokemon Go and then it would it would. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to, yeah. To the you might want to keep the, yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, that's kind of a lot of money to spend for that particular... <laughs> Yeah, I don't, I don't know. We're not, we don't have power. Maybe I broke it in carrying it around. I don't know. Uh, in any event, you really don't need a demonstration, and I have nothing to cook. So, uh, Heston, H E S T A N C U E. Uh, it's, it's a really interesting idea. I do like induction cooking. Uh, that is, a, it is a good way to cook. I think it's a little pricey for what you get. So, induction cooking is that like when you're at a hotel and they have like a stove? That looks flat. I, you Is don't see them in hotels game? so much. Yes, but you don't. See, really, you see them in hotels. I feel like that. I've seen okay. that in hotels, but it's like I, it's not better than gas. Gas is better, right? It's a, it's uh, so the draw. The reason people like gas is instant on and off, right? Induction is exactly like that. You even have finer control because you can set exact temperature. Mm. So I think it's better than gas because it's more precise than gas. It's better than ele It's electric, and many people don't have gas. And they can't, and they have to use electric. It's better than a traditional electric stove because, you know, you turn an electric stove mm -hmm. on, it takes a while to heat up, takes mm -hmm. a while to cool off. This is instantaneous. So the drawbacks to induction cooking are you have to have pots that work with induction cooking. You may already, but they have to, they have to be magnetic. They have to, so in fact, if you could take a magnet and put it on your pot and it sticks, your pot will work. But there are a lot of pots, copper pots, for instance, that won't work with this. So you have to have, uh, but you'll see a lot of fancy kitchens now have inductive uh, cooktops because they're easy to clean. They're safer. They don't, you know, they're not, they're not, there's no fire. There's no red hot element. These are relatively cool if you haven't, you know, and, and it's, of course, they're flat. There's no, nowhere for the food to go. So they're very easy to clean. Mm -hmm. And if, and, you know, we have in our house, we have solar panels. So we like to use electricity uh, as much as we can. It's greener for us than gas. Right. So this would be a great choice for somebody who wants to use an electric stove but doesn't want the wants more control wants gas-like control and i don't know if you need to know the temperature but it is kind of cool to know you know if you're going to boil water to set it at 212 right that kind of thing and if you want to simmer you set it down to 200 it's slightly below boiling and it's not going to over it's not going to boil over it can't boil because it's exactly set at 200 so that's the advantage of this i think over, really it's awfully expensive um but it's kind of you know i had to do it because it's uh it's uh, geeky. <laughs> the Heston Q system. But Alex likes four ninety nine. If you just want the pot, the frying pan, and the burner, you got to have the, the the induction burner. And if you want to get the, uh, then it's another couple hundred bucks. If you want to get the uh, bigger pot, the uh, the the cooking pot. So it's kind of. I mean, honestly, this is like a hot plate, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. I mean, yeah. if you didn't have a stove, you know, it might be a, honestly, yeah, for for uh, somewhere a kid who didn't, you know, was in the college room or something. If you were allowed to have a induction burner, this wouldn't be so bad. Um, I I wish I could get this to make sound because the other thing to know is there's a fan in this mm. and there is noise. It has a fairly uh, audible fan mm -hmm. as it cooks. That's my app cap, and I'm wearing a perfectly appropriate turkey head. You are. Well, I will report on my air fryer next week. You have that to look forward to. <laughs> Is it, does it have an app? Fries. Is there an app for that? Nope. You can't. Then. No. There I you can't go. then? There you go. There, yeah, that's not me. In know how you did an air fryer. Oh, no, <laughs> Father Robert did. That's Padre's yeah. arms. Yeah. But, we, um, I think we still have that air fryer in the kitchen here, don't we? He took uh, it? Maybe. It's in the Vatican now? <laughs> Okay, get ready. I don't know why. French fries he, for everyone. I never understood why that was on know-how, but um, I'm- I think Robert just wanted us to buy him one. Okay, got it. <laughs>